who's the idiot now? Hi, I hope you had happy holidays and started a great new year 2020. Today in news, Ukraine discovers free energy. Electroboom passes over 3 million subscribers and will give away 5 scopes thanks to Keysight. Yes, I finally reached 3 million subscribers thanks to every single one of you. And to celebrate that, I will reveal a very special secret if you slap like now. Approved. The secret is... I couldn't come up with an extraordinary video idea to celebrate 3 million subscribers. But Keysight came to the rescue and is helping me give away 5 4 channel scopes that's also a 20 MHz function generator, a frequency counter, a spectrum analyzer and more at the end of the video. Keysight will also give away 5 more tools including scopes when their channel reaches 100,000 subscribers. Their channel is filled with great knowledge on test tools. So subscribe to their channel now and get them to 100,000. Now let's talk about free energy. A lot of you sent me a video from Croson channel seemingly claiming free energy. This channel is a Ukrainian lad and his friends building all sort of interesting stuff from scrap material. His main channel has more subscribers than mine. Good for them! But it doesn't mean I can't rectify them. I generally like what they do in their channel though. It is a great opportunity YouTube is providing to everyone in the world to have a voice. As long as I approve their message. Let's look at his video and see what it's about. What? Free energy from the ground wire? There is no free energy. Free energy being the energy created from no other source. Just imagine that, there is plenty of energy that we don't use in our normal life. And I'm going to show you how to collect this free energy. First thing we need is a very thick wire. Then connect it to the reliable grounding. Another end will be connected to the ground wire of the electric net. Then I insulate the phase wire to protect myself from electricity. We don't need that. Now there will appear some voltage potential between these wires. It's 2.8 volts. That will be enough to spark a LED light. It is working well. My Ukrainian language is a bit sketchy, but I think he says there is an AC voltage difference between his neutral wire and earth, which in his case is his water copper pipe, and you can pull energy from this difference, which is free. So it's obvious he's not talking about the mythical free energy, that's energy created from no other source. He's talking about the energy that's available for free, like solar power that we can harvest. But is it free? Stick to the end and we shall figure this out, if this spare energy even exists that is. To make this energy more effective, we need to use a simple transformer. The input is 2.8 volts, it's very low. Let's see what's got into the output. 64, 66 volts. The pipe doesn't have a normal contact. I'm going to clean it up and make it better. So what do we have here? It's 199 volts, it's 200, almost 220. It shines brightly. Okay, so he's using a transformer to boost that voltage up to a level he can power something with, like LED lights. So is it true? Can you grab energy between your neutral and earth wires that is free to you? And can you boost it with a transformer that much? Let's see if I can find such a difference at my home. The thing is that if your home is properly wired, it must be well grounded to earth. And neutral and earth wires must be shorted together somewhere in the power system. But can there still be a voltage difference? Now I want to find something at home that's grounded. So I'm using a light bulb that's connected to the live wire on one side and I'll connect the other side to exposed metals. If the light turns on, it means the metal is grounded. Now that's thinking outside the box. Look. Okay. Let's check this pipe. Ah, oh, sh I was pretty sure it was grounded, but it's not. Sometimes I think thinking inside the box can save your life. See, when I touch the lamp to the metal, the live voltage travels through the lamp to the metal. And if the metal is not grounded, it will become live and can shock you. Okay, let's just not touch anything. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, GFCI popped. There it is. So that pipe was really connected to earth. But then does it mean if I try to run current between neutral and earth, my GFCI would pop and I can't do it here? Well, let's try it out. Here we have the neutral and earth wires and if we short them, <laughs> there it pops. So good news everybody, there is voltage between them, but if we use it, GFCI pops. I have to go somewhere else. Okay, let's check the toaster. Ouch! It's not grounded either. This is a stupid dangerous way to check for grounding. But is there anything grounded around here? Okay, the fridge is not grounded. 
Uh, what? what? Oh, my neutral wire is touching the fridge body as well. Let's bend that away. How about the oven body? Hey, that's grounded. <laughs> that's one. How about the dishwasher body? There you go, that's grounded too. If I measure the voltage between the body of the dishwasher and the neutral wire, I see a very tiny difference though, unless I turn on my microwave and then the voltage rises close to one volt. The voltage difference between the ground wire and the body of the dishwasher remains zero though. It means that all I need is to harvest the energy between the neutral and ground wires, which thankfully exists in North America. Let's see if we can use this voltage for anything. Here we have the neutral and earth wires here and the voltage between them is only 260 millivolts. I get a transformer from an old wall adapter that I've removed the rectifier and capacitor from and if I plug it into the 120 volt AC and measure across the secondary output I read around 7.5 volt AC which means the primary to secondary winding ratio is 16 to 1. So if instead of primary I connect an AC across the secondary I should see 16 times the voltage across the primary. But haven't you seen my videos? You can't just simply switch the primary and secondary on the AC lines. Well, you can't see it because YouTube has removed it for being too dangerous. Don't do this at home. Now you have high voltage as The reason is that in a step-down transformer, we have much more windings on the primary and so much higher impedance. 120 volt there draws very little current. But the secondary has much fewer turns and so much smaller impedance. 120 volt there will blow up. But we can place a small AC across it and the current would be pretty small and nothing will blow up. So I can flip the transformer around and connect the neutral and earth wires to it and have around 280 or 90 millivolts and at the other side I would have almost 5 volts now if I have two reverse parallel LEDs like this and put them across the output they turn on <laughs> But these LEDs run on 3 volts and 5 volt would blow them up. Which means the output can't maintain its voltage and drops to around 3 volts. But hey, still there is energy between neutral and earth we can harvest. Is this free energy though? No. The reason we have this voltage difference is wire resistance. Let me demonstrate using... Let me demonstrate with low voltage DC lines. We have positive and negative DC lines here with uh, around 7 volt across them. Now imagine this positive line is our live wire and this negative line splits into two wires which are neutral and earth. So normally there wouldn't be any voltage difference between these two wires as they are shorted. But if I place like a resistive load between my live wires and run current through them around 3 amps right now, then there will be voltage drop across these wires because of their resistance. And the positive line drops by around 2 volts and the negative line rises by around 2 volts. So now if we measure between our earth and neutral, we don't read zero anymore, but around 2 volts. And we can take this voltage and turn something on with it, like this LED. You might think this tiny current is running from neutral to earth and is not counted towards your power bill. False! The fact is that now the live wire sends current that mostly goes through neutral, but some of it also goes through earth. But all the current passes through live anyway. It's not free energy, you still pay for it. It's not even worth harvesting. Stop calling it free energy! Now this voltage difference can be higher based on the current through the power lines, the length of the power lines and how well the grounding is. And that's why Croson was reading 3 volts between his wires. See right now I'm reading around 240 millivolt AC between neutral and earth which translates to around 4.5 volts at the output of the transformer. Now if I turn on my soldering iron and blowtorch to draw much more current from the power lines, the voltage difference changes to around 700 millivolt AC which is like 10 volts at the output of the transformer. 
The thing is that when he was reading 2.2 volts, the transformer output was 66 volts, which means the transformer ratio was 30 to 1, which is reasonable considering the run on 220 volt AC. But then after he cleaned his contacts, the transformer output went up to 200 volt AC. That means 6.5 volts between neutral and earth. Their grounding must be sh which is not surprising in those places. I remember back in Iran, we would touch our fridge door handle and get electrocuted. I mean, bad grounding is not the worst thing you have to deal with back there. And the typical solution to such problems is good luck. Give away time. So thank you everyone for getting me to 3 million subscribers. And thanks to Keyside for helping me with the giveaways. Frankly, my dear, they have been so great to work with. The quality of their tools, the service they provide, it's just... Mm. So if you also like electronics and tools, subscribe to their channel and get them to 100,000 subscribers and unlock the achievement now. And they will give away five more tools. And I will give away two scopes to my patrons at patreon.com who have generously supported my channel. If you also like to contact me and have early access to my videos among some other perks, then Patreon is the way to go. I draw two more scopes between everyone. Just sign up from the link in the description if you need a scope. And the last scope goes to a school that needs it. If your school needs tools, then sign it up from the other link in the description. I will draw sometimes this month and post the results in my channel's community tab. Just stay tuned. And Happy New Year!